friends let us take a new topic that is known as empirical rule what is empirical rule first of all empirical rule is applicable to the data only if the data follow a normal distribution if the data follow normal distribution then first of all in case of normal distribution what happens the area between here it is z equals to 0 when we know that when x that means data value is exactly equal to mean the value of z comes to 0 that is exactly in the center the entire normal curve can now be divided into two parts one is values or rather data values less than mean the probability is 50 percent so the area of the left hand side is 0.5 similarly remaining data values are greater than mean the probability is 50 percent that means the area of the right hand side of the curve is also 0.5 z is exactly 0 because at this point data value equals to mean so z value or z score is 0 now if we refer to the table of the normal curve or area under normal curve we know that the area between z0 and z1 on either side is 0.3413 0.3413 on left hand side and 0.3413 on right hand side. The summation comes to 0.6826 that means approximately 68%. So we can say that if we consider the area between Z minus 0 and Z plus 0, it is approximately 60%. So empirical in empirical rule, the first is within x bar plus or minus one standard deviation because we know that the difference between particular data value and mean is always z times of standard deviation so within the range mean plus or minus one standard deviation where ones minus or plus one stands for z are approximately 68% Similarly, if for any data value z is minus 2 or z is plus 2, on the basis of that table, we can observe that the area between z0 and z2 on either side is 0.4772. That means summation of the area on both sides between z0 and z minus 2 or plus 2 is 0.9544. That means we can say that approximately 95% values or data values are between these two. So, the conclusion number two is within mean plus or minus two standard deviations, there are approximately 95% data values. And similarly, if for any data value say z is minus 3 or plus 3 the area between z0 and 3 z3 three on either side is 0.49349 approximately 4987 now get the summation it comes to 9974 so approximately all or you can say that more or less 100% values are within this range z minus 3 and z plus 3 so our observation number 3 is within x bar plus or minus 3 standard deviations there are almost all values almost all not actually all because we see that 0.9974 percent of the data values suppose data is made up of 10,000 values then we can expect 0 0.9974 into 10,000 that means 9,974 values out of the total data values 10,000 can be within this range that means 26 values don't fall within this range out of these 26 we can expect that some are out of this limit z minus 3 and some are out of this upper limit z plus 3 but so far as when the data is not as large as 10,000 units or observations, 
then we can say that almost all data values will be within this range. So this is this theory is known as empirical rule. Together with this theory, there is a concept of outliers. There is a concept of outlier. What is an outlier? The so first is the data value, the data value which is less than mean plus or sorry mean minus three standard deviations. The data value which is less than mean minus three standard deviations. That means if the data value is on this chart, it can be on the left hand side of this line of Z minus 3. On the left hand side. It is less than. Less than X bar minus 3S. In this area somewhere. Or data value is greater than mean plus 3 standard deviations. That means this type of data value falls somewhere here. I personally tell this as lower limit and this as upper limit. If the data value is less than the lower limit for the outliers or up greater than the upper limit of outliers, we treat the data value as an outlier. And normally this type of outlier is removed from the data. Because it is something like odd one out. It is so lower that it influences the mean or any measure of central tendency. Or it is so high it also affects the measure of mean or any other central tendency. So that type of odd one out, lower value or higher value, it is advisable to remove them from the data. So when we, this is something like a filter. Too much lower value or too much higher value should be removed from the data so that the data maintains the symmetry. This is the concept of empirical rule as well as the outliers. Let us take an example. distribution or say normal distribution the data follow normal distribution mean equals to 30 and standard deviation equals to 5 now we want to know what percentage of values are within this ranges first is 15 to 45 second is 20 to 40 and third is 25 to 35. What percentage of data values are within this ranges and is say 47 an outlier? Similarly is say 13 an outlier now first of all we have to calculate z values or z score we know that z equals to data value minus mean divided by standard deviation if we take x equals to 15 in first case then z will be 15 minus 30 divided by 5 so z comes to minus 3 similarly if we take x or data value equals to 45 then z comes to 45 minus 30 divided by 5 3. so it comes to positive 3 
that means 45 to 15 to 45 gives us the range mean plus or minus 3 standard deviations mean plus or minus 3 standard deviations now we know that within mean plus or minus 3 standard deviations approximately 100% or almost all data values within this range that means almost all data values are within 15 to 45 almost all but not all precisely there can be 99.74% data values now we can take second range 20 to 40 again for 20 and 40 we have to find that value let us take first of all x equals to 20 then z will be 20 minus 30 divided by 5 so z is minus 2 if we take x equals to 40 then z will be 40 minus 30 divided by 5 so z will be plus 2 that means again the range comes to x bar plus or minus 2 standard deviations we know that within x bar plus or minus 2 standard deviations there are or there can be approximately 95 percent data values if the data follow normal distribution that means approximately 95% data values are within 20 to 44. These are actually broad conclusions. Now the third one, 25 to 35. Again, first of all, let us take x equals to 25, z will be 25 minus 30 divided by 5, minus that one. means minus one. 1. Similarly, let us take x equals to 35, z will be 35 minus 30 divided by 5, plus that means plus 1. So, we want the range x bar plus or minus one standard deviation we know that within x bar plus or minus one standard deviation there can be approximately 68 percent values approximately 68 percent data values are within 25 to 35 Within the data values nearer to mean, less number of values are within that range. Now D. A single data value 47 is there. Say data value equals to 47. Is this particular data value an outlier? First of all, what is an outlier? If the data value is less than this lower limit of x bar minus 3 standard deviations or the data value is greater than this upper limit of x bar or mean plus 3 standard deviations. Now we know that x bar minus 3 standard deviations will be here. 30 plus 3 into 5 that means 30 sorry 30 minus 3 into 5 that means 30 minus 15 so lower range comes to 50 similarly the upper range or upper limit 
x bar or mean plus 3 standard deviations that means 30 plus 3 into 5 that means 30 plus 40, 15 so it comes to 45. Here the data value is 45 and that is greater than the upper limit. The data value 47 is greater than 45 that means it is greater than mean plus 3 standard deviations. So 47 is an outlier. Or in other words, any data value which is within 15 and 45 cannot be said to be an outlier. If the data value is 45 or less but not less than 15, then it cannot be an outlier. Now E. Say data value is 30. We can see that this particular data value is less than the lower limit of the range. It is less than 50. Our observation is 13 is less than 15. What is this 15? 15 is the lower limit x bar minus 3 standard deviations. And we know that if any data value is less than x bar minus 3 standard deviations, then it is called an outlier. So 13 is an outlier. So this is the whole concept of empirical rule. The broad observations for z values 1, 2 and 3 on the basis of this empirical rule and the concept of outlier. Yes, thank you.